There was some question left open yesterday when you got here, like whether or not you'd go on the active roster. Can you just give us an idea, like what your conversation was like with Chris Woodward and mm -hmm. Chris Young, what you guys discussed today while you're on the active roster? Well, we were just thinking since it wasn't an open, like fresh blister, it was kind of left over from a couple weeks ago. I, I think you're muted. Oh. Hello? Hello? I think everybody else can hear, Evan. Um, yeah, I was just saying, since it wasn't a fresh blister, it was left over from a couple weeks ago, and it was just a flap of skin that was peeling up. Um, I think the extra, because I was originally supposed to pitch tomorrow, and so the extra few days here of just maybe throwing a bullpen tomorrow and then midweek pitching sometime is going to be enough to kind of keep it at bay for hopefully the rest of the year. Okay. Um, the other thing with, uh, how would you describe, I, I, how would you describe what your routine or what your role is doing here? Um, that's a good question. I, <laughs> I was kind of all over the place for a bit, and then uh, they sent me back to Lehigh to build up and get the pitch count up to actual starters pitch count. Um, and then Eflin hurt his knee, so then I just filled in that role. And I'm not sure if that was planned um, to go back and you know do the 85 to 100 pitches in the big leagues or if that was forced from Eflin. But, um, I mean, for the most part, it was starting. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, it was tough to uh, to try to find a routine in there. I I did my best to just focus mostly on <clears throat> what I could control, you know, arm care routine and weightlifting and stuff like that to try to just be prepared for whatever they threw at me. Um, but even then, like, uh, it's just a it, it was a tough go up there. So I'm, I'm okay. very excited to be here. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got it. Go to Jeff Wilson. Hey, uh, I don't know. Welcome. Congratulations uh, based <laughs> on your last answer. Um, what, what, it, what has it been like to get traded? And what's this experience been like for you? Uh, it was a lot. I think I felt every motion there is yesterday. Um, just leaving, you know, what I had always known with the Phillies and uh, everything. I was pretty comfortable there, just knowing everyone and I had all my friends there and stuff. But I think it's really good for me to be here now, um, you know, kind of a fresh start and get to uh, hopefully contribute to a team um, and, you know, get to know all these guys. Like, this facility is unbelievable. I'm in awe of it still. Um, yeah, just being able to get here and get to work is what I'm most excited about. Okay. Um, you know, just reading stories and uh, some reports on you that, that there seemed to be some concern about your velocity after maybe one time through the lineup for a few weeks. How would you describe <clears throat> I think it comes with practice. Um, I don't remember the last time that I pitched over maybe 80 pitches in a game. Um, so I think, you know, if you, like physically, I can condition all I want and lift all I want and be as strong as possible. But if you don't actually get those reps in past a certain point in a the game, then, you know, it, it comes with practice. I guess that's, that's my answer. And then in, in talking here for however long you've been here, what would uh, Chris and Chris, is there a plan for you to do that the rest of the season? Um, as far as I know, that's uh, the goal of just put me in and let me go to work. But uh, I haven't spoken explicitly about any sort of pitch counts or any buildup um, yet. So. It's early. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Kennedy, Landry, MLB.com. Hey, Spencer. I guess uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, I guess piggybacking off of what Jeff just said, have they? Anybody, have they indicated to you if you will 
immediately likes to launch the rotation or kind of come up with a start and go from there? Um, to my knowledge, I am going to be starting sometime. Uh, I don't know when yet. I think they still have a lot to figure out. Um, I am going to throw a bullpen tomorrow, uh, and then, you know, I'll I'll probably find out when I'm pitching just as soon as you guys do. I, mean, just, I, I was wondering if you could maybe describe yourself as a pitcher. You know, you know we can read everything deep mm-hmm. you can, but I want to hear that from you. Um, attack guys and try to force them to put it in play. I think I got away from that for a while, trying to nibble and get too many strikeouts. And then just within the last few outings, I've been going more just fastball heavy, trying to move it around and mix in off speed when I can to try to just get weak contact. One more thing to me. I know with the Phillies, you were kind of in limbo a lot of the time. You kind of touched on it. You were starting here. You were out of the bullpen here. How much is it going to help you, you know, for the rest of the season to kind of have me in like one specific role that mm-hmm. you would like me stay in? I don't think words can express it. Um, I'm super excited to just be somewhere and get to work and finally, you know, push past whatever kind of barrier I have on myself uh, pitching wise. And to be here and be doing it in this brand new facility is just icing on the cake. So I'm super excited. Okay, we're going to Sarah Merrifield, Rangers Television. Just to piggyback off that, you know, with the state where the team is very young, the opportunity for you to contribute, do you recognize that opportunity? And, and how do you feel like you're going to take the bull by the horns in that way? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm really excited. And I think being able to just go about my work and really dig deep and, you know, physically, mentally, whatever it is, just being able to go out there and just pitch is going to be is going to be really good for me. And out of curiosity, just uh, with the personnel here on the uh, Rangers, do you know anyone have crossed paths with anyone uh, that we might not know about? Um, are you talking about coaches or players? Uh, players? I knew Drew Anderson just from spring training with the Phillies, but other than that, everybody and everything is new to me, so it's exciting. Thanks, Love it. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we're going to Levi Weaver, Athletic. Hey, Spencer, this, this is probably seems like a really uh, basic question, but just watching you, not, not just hearing what you're saying, but watching you say, you seem really happy. Is that a, <laughs> is that a fair thing to say? Uh, I'm super stoked to be here, yeah. What, uh, how, how familiar are you with the Rangers, uh, I guess, organization situation? I know they're, they're in a rebuild right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you view yourself as sort of big picture part of, part of uh, where they're headed going forward? I mean, I'm just hoping I can contribute as much as possible. I'm really glad to have the opportunity here to be a starter and just, you know, like I said before, push past whatever – it is that's causing the uh, velo dip or stuff decline or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I feel like a broken record saying I'm excited, but I'm just excited to be here. Right on. Thanks, man. Yeah. We're going to CJ Nitkowski, Rangers TV. Hey, Spencer. Uh, you were born in SLO. You went to high school in SLO, SLO and then college there. Was, the, was that always the dream <clears> for you? <throat> To, to go to Cal Poly and stay home that entire time? No, so I wanted to go to UCSB. My dad and sister went to UCSB, and so I spent more time around that campus. Um, and then I didn't get in there, and I got into Cal Poly, so I figured that would be the best school for me to go to. Now, but now when you say you got in there, I mean, were you recruited by them to play baseball there, or are you talking on the academic mm, side? Academics. I, I walked on. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, now, so the excitement of, um, as you mentioned, kind of this new opportunity, and we can see it on your face and hear it in your voice. Uh, what about any phone calls you made uh, once that trade came in? Were there other people that were sharing that excitement with you? Yeah, I got a bunch of texts. Everybody was super stoked for Texas. Um, I know being on the West Coast and playing these teams is going to be a lot better for all my family and all my friends to be able to come and see more games. Um, so I think the overall theme of everything is just excitement. 
Uh, and uh, one last one, I just want to backtrack on that. So when you went to Cal Poly, I mean, did you go in with like as a preferred walk-on or was this just like, I'll go to tryouts and see what happens? Uh, so I got into school and then I went to a tryout a month before classes started and I hit 88 months pitching and the coach said that they had a spot for me for that fall and, and uh, they said I could either try to play that year and see what I got but I wasn't probably going to pitch that much or redshirt and I chose to redshirt <clears throat> and just put on weight. I gained a little bit of velocity and then uh, worked out of the bullpen the next year and was out of the bullpen junior year for the first month or so. And then uh, our Saturday starter had to get Tommy John, so I slid in there. And uh, now we're here. So you were touching 88 prior to starting school. What were you touching prior to the draft? Uh, I was up to like 95, 96 then. Wow, so about eight or nine miles an hour that you picked up in three years? Yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay, a couple of follow-ups. We'll go back to Evan Grant. Hey, so I, just, I want to make sure, and I know I, I'm not trying to pin you on to a day or anything, but you said you'd throw a bullpen tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. is your understanding like that your next outing would actually be a start, or are you going to do a couple of relief outings before you do um, that? I'm actually not sure. I was under the impression that it was going to be a start, um, but I don't know. They would they would have more info for me probably either later today or tomorrow post bullpen. Sure, and, and typically we wouldn't ask you this, it's just because of the timing. Exactly. Yeah, but, I got you. Um, the other thing is, and you have said several times that you feel super excited and happy to be here. Um, I guess the, the follow up to that would be why? Why I'm excited? Um, well, even before I got here, I didn't hear a single negative thing about this place, uh, people, facility, all of it. And uh, getting here and meeting everybody and seeing it, all of that was just confirmed. So, I mean, now all that's left is to go and play baseball. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one, Jeff. So you, you come with a, a pretty decorated uh, past, the recent past as a, as a top prospect. Uh, just wondering, how do you uh, deal with the expectation now you're like the centerpiece of a trade and, and uh, you're, you're suddenly expected to be part of a young rotation that's going to lead this team to the, the World Series? How does that sit with you? Um, I think it's pretty easy to put outside pressure on yourself, so I try to steer clear of that and just take care of what I need to take care of day to day. Um, for me, most of it is just trying to be physically ready to compete and so uh, I know if I take care of my business and just kind of stick to myself that everything else will just fall into place okay and just to double check you're excited to be here uh, I would say I'm excited I'm excited to be here <laughs> very good I appreciate it okay well let's finish go